Um, I just want to say, um, <clears throat> uh, I just want to say a big thank you to those people around the world who have been reading my story. Uh, I'm adopted um, in English and in Russian. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. The Russian version is here. It's available now on my website as a free download. All sorts of crazy formats. Um, you name it, it's there. And I'm adopted as well. So that's also on my website too. So that's available and it's free to read. I want to get it out there as, to as many people as possible and just try and help as many people as I can. It's been awesome and everything has been incredible and the feedback and the stories and comments, everything has been amazing and overwhelming at the same time. So thank you very much. And um, this is just the beginning with everything and I know that it's gonna continue on. So one thing I really wanna talk about was how I actually did the search for my birth parents. Now, a lot of people ask me this, how did everything begin? Uh, what steps did you take? So everything really happened quite a while ago now, over six years ago. And a lot has changed with technology and the way things work in the world. Now, as you may know or may not know, I do have a project called I'm Adopted, which I still run, and it shares stories of adopted people around the world. So you can see the link below, see it on the screen now. And that project I established, I set up a few years ago, and it's helped a lot of people around the world share their stories. It's in English, it's in Russian, and it's in Spanish. So it's helped a lot of adopted people share their stories, and a lot of people actually have connected with their birth families or parents through this. Now before I begin and get into how I searched up for my birth parents, I know there is a lot of stories around the world that are not entirely positive. And I get a lot of messages all the time about people talking about how everything went well. Well, it, it, exactly, no, it didn't. Um, it didn't. It didn't happen like that. There's also a lot of sites where you have, to be, you have to be prepared for anything that would happen, meeting your birth parents. Now, it's not entirely a big positive story. My story, in fact, it's not. It's just that I was able to search and find them, yes, but I, was, I always had the fear of not being able to meet my birth parents because they might not want to meet me. So it's always something that I've always thought about and saying that is always on my mind for a lot of people that want to search for their birth families or birth parents. With my search for my birth parents, I, uh, over six years ago, I actually used social media. I used Russian social media. I did a search for my birth, birth mother first, and then I did a search for my birth father. Now, my birth father didn't know anything about me, and I was only able to find information about my birth mother. So there is websites like ok.ru or vk.com, and these websites are based in Russia, and they there's a social network site in Russia, and a lot of the a lot of information is there. A lot of people that may know some relatives or may know some connections to your birth families or birth birth siblings or birth parents, and so that's been very useful for a lot of people around the world. Now I do have a blog post I wrote up about people f adopted from Russia um, around the world who are trying to find birth families or find any type of connection at all. I do have a blog post about where you could search or what you could do to start those steps. So I searched through ok.ru and I also searched through vk.com and I managed to get through to my birth mother's friend in um, her town. I looked up for a community group and I found a community group named after my birth mother's last name. Now it's quite complicating but I managed to track down my birth mother through this community group on ok.ru. Okay I got in touch with some person that knew my birth mother in the same town. She actually went to the same school as my birth mother, but I had not heard from her since then. So she then referred me to another friend who may know my birth mother, and that's how I eventually tracked down my birth mother, Tatiana. So there's all sorts of different stories. Every story is different for everybody. Some people may not be able to find some information, and that has been the case for a lot of people who are trying to search for birth families or birth parents. But there's always light at the end of the tunnel, I believe that, and nothing's impossible, and it just takes time for everybody who wanna go and search for the birth parents. Um, I know some, I know a few stories last year where I actually sat down and helped a few people here in Auckland, New Zealand, and I managed to find the birth families within a few days, actually, and all it was was the relatives or sisters or brothers were on these websites, and I just contacted them and I said, hello there, there's a person that is interested to meeting you or contacting you, I believe they're related to you. And it's not entirely going to always be a big positive war game, it's never gonna be really exciting for everybody. Some people are in shock, some people are really quite upset, and it happens all the time. So say for example, my birth father, he, I messaged him you know, almost six years ago, and he got quite upset and shocked when I contacted him because he had no idea what was going on. He thought it was all a big joke. He thought this was kind of like a scam. 
um, of me reaching out to him saying, hey, I believe I am your son in New Zealand. Do you know Tatiana? And then things kind of went on from there. So you need to take small steps if you're going to go and find your birth parents. Take your time. Don't rush into it. And do it when you feel like you're ready to do it. Do it, do it when you feel like you're comfortable. Talk with your mum and dad. Talk with your parents. Talk with your family about you may be wanting to search for your birth, birth family or birth parents and with yourself always hope for the best and never get upset about anything like not getting a reply just waiting and waiting maybe it's been a year maybe you're still trying to search for your birth parents it is different for everybody and I know someone that's also trying to get in touch with their birth family as well and it's taken a very long time to actually get each step at a time. It takes months at a time to find something new, find some new information and then find the next part of information. You know, you want to try and do what you can and take your time and I believe that an age to find your birth parents, I believe, I, I myself searched my birth parents when I was 21 and that was six years ago, I'm getting quite old now, but <laughs> searching for your birth parents after high school I believe was right. I didn't want to search for them throughout, throughout high school. I always wondered about them but I didn't know anything. I, I had a lot to learn and I was always quite nervous about searching or what I may find being a teenager compared to when I was 21. And I, was, I felt like I was prepared to find my birth parents and I felt like that was the right age. So each to yourself, keep, keep doing what you want to do and just when you feel like it's the right age you can try and search for your birth parents. Now to those people who do not want to search for the birth parents or may have gone through some sort of negative experience or some sort of trauma or some really bad growing up as a child or anything like that, even in your adopted country or with your adoptive parents or anything like that, just, just remember that there is a family out there that love you so much and if your mum and dad did, did adopt you and they did raise you and you still feel like they didn't do a good job or you feel like they let you down or you feel upset or you feel like they're not giving you any information just give it time because things will happen and things will fall into place and as an adopted person I believe that everything happens for a reason and then one day it will happen don't rush into it things will happen for you and eventually you'll find some good news I guarantee that and even if Something, is, something bad has happened with your birth parents or your birth families, just know that you have made that sort of connection, you know what's going on later on in life. You actually know about your birth family and you've actually understood what's happened to them and that is, a, that is closure for a lot of people. And it may not be the most greatest um, outcome. My, my brother, for example, we don't believe that his birth mother is alive anymore, but he's told me he's very happy that he actually knows what's happened to her. And well, as in we think, we, we, we have an idea that we can't get in touch with her or we think something bad's happened to her. So take it as you, take it as you go as an adoptee, take your time and don't rush into it. I hope this video has helped many of you. Um, if you want to learn about my experience more about being an adopted person around the world, please, you can check out my book on my website. It's free to download. Um, you can read it. You can also get it on Amazon as a paperback. Unfortunately, that's not free. I couldn't make that free. Um, or the Russian version as well. So please go and check it out. I really appreciate the feedback. I appreciate the support, everything. I'm back into work now. It's back into 2019 and I'll be doing more videos. In the meantime, please check out me on Instagram. I am there. I do have Facebook as well and I do share a lot of posts on both of those platforms. So please check me out on there. Um, thank you very much and I hope that this has kind of give you guys an insight about my story about my experience with searching for my birth parents as well as helping as many of you as I can around the world who are adopted. Please thank you very much and please keep keep watching my videos. I really appreciate it watching my channel. Thank you so much. And until next time, Dafsidanya Spasiba Vashoye Paka Dafsidanya, thank you very much. Thank you.